Hello, and welcome back to Your Turn to Die. On the last episode, we began the banquet. Uh, we were told to select a challenger. Uh, we didn't really have much of a choice, as Jin volunteered himself and ran into a coffin. Now the game is to basically find Midori, who is obviously the opposing challenger, as we fight for, um... Well, it's a race, I guess, not a fight. We have to get them before they get Jin. Uh, and the dummies are who are at risk. Uh, number two, coffin number two, you can see it destroyed. That's the one Mabel was destroyed. I believe that was Anzu's. And we have to figure out how to uh, find Medora, I guess. So, so is about talk. Can you think of anything, Miss Sarah? A way to see what we can't see? Well, I uh, thought of anything, Miss Sarah. He's uh, I, I, not going to work. Trust and luck. He's not going to like that, so I'm assuming an item. How about we use an item? I uh, guess you thought of something. Well, show me what the, uh, the item is. I'll present it to him. Four papers, not going to do it. Uh, transceiver, maybe. But who has the other one? Kermada did? Oh, no, Ranmira did. One of the two. Either way, both that wouldn't be good. Watch recorder. Nope. Green book. Pointless. Notes. First take it. Uh, land isn't going to uh, They glue, right? Or they glued. Can you think of something, uh, Miss Sarah? Yes, the lantern. Yay! Got it right in. Okay. Interesting, the lantern, huh? The light of this lantern can reveal some things that we can't see normally. But is now out of battery? We'll use the one I picked up. Received the lantern from Kitaro. Oh, okay. Thing is the same as your lantern, uh, Sarah. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, let's see if this... Ah! Okay. Uh, two and three is everything else off. The coffins are glowing. Uh, what? What's going on outside? We're not sure of the details either, but there's something special about these coffins. Uh, we might just be able to tell them apart. Progress. Mystery of the glowing coffins. The coffins must be made of a special material that glow uh, in the lantern's light. Hey, what does it look like? How many uh, glowing coffins are there? Tell me. We saw the cof uh, coffin was glowing like this when we were off on our own, too. Alright, so... One, uh, three... Six... Eight... Nine... I guess that's what, uh, five of them? So, five of them... And we know... Uh, well, I say we know. We believe Anzu's in the broken ones, that's six? S that's six of the safe ones? Out of just three left, right? Problem solved, it's a 33% chance. Uh, never would have guessed that there was the same Latin on the floor. Five, two. Uh, we used this in the cemetery, all seven coffins started glowing. All seven? Uh, we have five of them? Uh, the coven was made of a, uh, the covens must be made of a special material that glow in the lantern's light. Uh, just an example, I believe some uh, ores like ruby and diamond glow in ultraviolet light. Huh, I never knew that. Maybe those coffins are made of diamond too. I doubt it's made of diamonds. Um, especially if number two. Hey, what's it look like? How many of the uh, coffins are? Uh, how many glowing coffins are there? Tell me. Well, do you know? Uh, five. Yeah. Really? Um, I see. So, if there are five glowing coffins, uh, then like what? Well, okay. Well, five glowing coffins against seven glowing coffins, that's kind of a contradiction. It's like staring us in the face. All seven glowed? Yeah. Then why are only five glowing now? By the way, there exists no other coffins uh, than these. All this, uh, all seven coffins glowing uh, were reduced to five glowing coffins because some of the coffins lost their glow. All right, uh, why don't we think about why that is? Because we take, we took too longs, T took too longs, we took too long. 
Well, uh, we can at least tell what Anzu is. Anzu's coffin's number two isn't glowing. Is it because Mabel exploded uh, on top of that coffin? But there should be another egg glowing coffin that lost its glow, right? Most likely Midori's, right? I also need to sneeze, I guess, but I can't. Is there a possible cause? Even things uh, matter here. Even little things matter here, sorry. Do any of you remember anything unusual that happened to the coffins? Uh, Keiji's is the only one who has apparently a furnace, right? Or it's the only one that's opened up out of order. All I can think of is, is the how that peculiar smell bothers me. Ramaru, I'm asking you too. Why would why would he help us? Why would he why would he help us at all? Why would we want him to help us? That's right, a nickel uh, spice liquid on me, uh, and got my coffin all sticky. I recall. Maybe the coffins actually glow using electricity, but they ran out. Bet they ran out of battery. That would make sense. Well, I, actually, no, I don't think it would, because why would it make sense and then suddenly react to the lantern? I think it's gotta be uh, that explosion. Uh, like the heat of, uh, heat of the blast. Cool. Uh, hi, Asaka. You seem like the only one who's actually right. Uh, it's like saying, I feel like staying in this coffin for too long will give me a, my suit a stench. Uh, why? Alright. Hineko uh, told me to hold a cocoa, you know. I told her, it's hot, carry it yourself. Then she crumbled it up and splashed it all over my coffin. I had no choice but to wipe it off myself. I don't recall this. But what happened though? Uh, what of it? That ain't relevant, is it? Well, Sarah seems to think it is. The heat of the cocoa. <laughs> Uh, the force of the blast, the heat from it, I think it lost, uh, I can think of lots of causes. Run on battery, the dummies run on batteries, don't they? Maybe the coffins do too. Let me guess, it's, it's these two, you smell, you smell the cocoa that you were in. Nope. I'm fine with being called an idiot. Uh, clear. Problem solved. Alright. Oh, wait. Do I have to compare these two? Oops. Oh, I'm not even on complex. That's why. I had to think about that for a second. Uh, store. Okay, cool. Items. different things but like really really hang on I'm curious about that is any heat all gonna do cotton candy uh, says the cocoa doesn't matter but the explosion and the hot cocoa what no right yes they're both hot but there are different degrees of heat that's not that's not how this this works all right when the what to what it's not wrong the blast and the cocoa both high temperature no. No. That's right, the heat uh, had an effect. I can draw the conclusion, something melted. Paint! Uh, because there's something uh, like paint on the surface of the coffins that glow from the camp, uh, lantern. Which obviously explains your smell. Um, come to think of it, that would connect something else. The, con uh, the consent of the classroom, blackboard in the classroom, here in the office, the top. Yep, it's black, uh, black paint. Good similarly when they use the lantern. And I had a. Uh, and a spray of steam got rid of it. 
Art Oaken. So, uh, that was using the same paint. Not unlikely. The paint comes off at high temperatures. That could certainly explain Ramu's coffin movement slow. And it also leads us to a possibility that a certain other coffin lost its glow. Uh, another coffin that lost stopped glowing. A coffin that might have stopped glowing, some of the Renrues would be. Cage's coffin. Yep, the cremation system that meant the grill uh, KG alive, precisely. And it was so hot it just got. Uh, and that just touching the lid burn you. So Mr. Policeman's coffin lost the store too. Katie's not even here though. I bet it, uh, the melted paint got under the lids, uh, which is why it got stuck and wouldn't open. But that's strange, isn't it? It would mean between Anzu, Renmaru and Katie, three coffins stopped glowing. Ah, uh, that doesn't... and well, yours is because you got destroyed. Well, and also... Don't you wonder who painted them and when? Probably is before anyone ever walked up, so... Good point. No, not really. No, not really. It could just be chalked to up, chalked up to whoever woke up first. First up, when I spoke uh, from Sarah, all seven coffins in the uh, cemetery were glowing. And the only person who was alone then... I guess, would be... The only other person who, who would be alone at... Completely alone would be Hineko, right? Because she's the only one... Because Katie was stuck in the, in the in the coffin. She's the only one in the coffin. Uh, well, Katie's in the coffin. So she's the only one who had a reason to stay. Being someone painted before we split. <laughs> Imagine it uh, had to have been Midori. Surely the culprit uh, wouldn't be one of us. I am now suspicious that you're the one pointing it out. Wouldn't it get on their hands and clothes uh, if, if, when they apply the paint? This paint stuff. I'm sure. Uh, I sure don't remember anything. Anything suspicious at the cemetery? Could there not be a culprit? Uh, do you think there's a difference between Jin and Midori's coffins uh, and the rest? Got it. The culprit is Maple. Must be meaning. Uh, Hineko is the only one I got my attention to. Only Midori would get uh, get these weird ideas. I mean, does it, what kind of intention do we uh, did he have? Can't even be bothered to, uh, to consider it. So useful for a topic. Yeah, uh, since nobody uh, saw something suspicious like that, it must have been much much earlier, at the very start of the uh, before the death game. So basically, he repainted that color uh, to prepare the, for the death game. Makes sense. Midori must have uh, been, uh, uh, been. Midori must have been some old coffins lying around uh, that he repainted. He reused them. I mean, uh, so long as they uh, aren't lit up by the lantern, that color isn't uh, even any different. No. Why would it be maple? See, when we couldn't uh, go to the fourth floor, she was uh, there slapping on the paint. But wasn't, uh, wasn't, wasn't the shutter closed so nobody uh, could get into the cemetery? Oh yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, hey, do you think there's a difference between Jin and Dory's coffins and the rest? Uh, maybe there's a little, uh, maybe... <laughs> Maybe they were sort of different from the coffins in the cemetery, for instance. Hopefully. Why, why are we talking to you? If you want to the, uh, want to confirm it, just check if anyone has their pin on their clothes. How could we do that? Now you can see the, uh, the, co uh, the ones inside the coffin. Uh, why do we... Right, anyway. Coffin doesn't exist. In other words, a ghost. The ghost of the person that... Uh, in that coffin, played a trick. <laughs> Smile. I was joking. Stop treating me like some. R right, right. Well, I feel like no matter what we chose, that would be the response. I mean, it's a branded new coffin, so of course there wouldn't be a ghost. Brand new, huh? Big you don't remember? 
seaweed head, uh, I can't wait, it's my first time using the fancy new coffins. That is true. Who is it? He said, uh, Pret? There we go. Thank you, Jin. You have proven to be useful, even though I thought you were just messing around. Jin, you sure about that? Of course. Then it makes sense why nobody uh, looked suspicious. A new coffin would, uh, would have been painted from the start. That's to start with. So it was called paint back when it was made. Like the chocolate on chocolate covered almonds, what? Then the coffins outside the cemetery, uh, cemetery too, according to the uh, Meister, in Edmodore's coffins are both new, right? Uh, both blue. Both of their coffins blue. That's not a good thing. That would make the coffins add up. Rather than two of the seven coffins that are glow, four out of nine. That would mean Anzu Renmaru's cages and one of the coffins stopped glowing. Uh, there's just one we can't identify, but I suspect the last one would be among the cemetery coffins. It would be odd if it wasn't. And now you're narrowing things down. Okay, so we aim for the glowing ones. After all, this means Midori is one of the glowing coffins. So if you pick a glowing coffin, wait up. Same goes for Jin too. Yeah, that's not good. Unless we got a way to distinguish Jin and Midori, the still uh, the game. It's still a game of chance. It's only twenty-five percent. One in five. It's only twenty percent chance. One in five odds. We hit Midori. If we just miss, there's uh, one thing. But if we hit Jin, Jin dies. Sarah, don't you think it's about time we try and hit uh, the hint function? We've narrowed it down to five. It's possible we could narrow it down further using the, that hint. It's true. I'll explain how to use it. Put the coffin you want to hit uh, right in front of, uh, right in, in front, and touch the uh, platform. Got it. I'll choose one of the glowing uh, uh, coffins and use a hint. Okay. Using a hint. Glowing ones. Alright, one, three. Nine, eight, and... Ooh, um... You know what? I'll go with three. And that way we can just see them all. Another button, right? Sure, sure, sure. Press uh, the lamp. Red. Oh, wait, uh, is that it? That's uh, what they tell us. Was the girl calm down? Uh, we can think about that. Yes, you're right. Listen, we can't use another hint. If we don't hit Midori, he'll come round to his turn. We have to prevent this. Jin's life is on the line. Okay. It's okay. Uh, even this uh, single lamp gives us information. Uh, what? The lamp. What? Glow? Is it a light or a glow or illuminate? What? Too complex. What do you mean it? What do you mean to say? Maybe there's a similar way to look at it. Okay. Uh, think back to the searching uh, on this floor. We saw numerous devices with a rela uh, relation to color. That's true. Uh, then we have to discuss what we can determine from the color. Right. If we all join forces, then I'm sure we can solve this mystery. Let's uncover the secret of the color. Okay. I'm confused about that. The red lamp's meaning. Uh, the lamp says that uh, what's inside. Red means red blood, so it must uh, mean there's a human in there. Sure, uh, weren't we, uh, were those three cup buttons on the, uh, blue, red, blue, and yellow? A message mentioned colours. I don't know if it's relevant, but, uh, fingerprint. Kind of feel like it's going to be hard to theorise about colour of the lamp. 
Alright, so it's kind of big. Ah, uh, what was it again? Uh, okay. Ah, uh, that's good. And easy. Uh, I know it kind of, uh, sounds kind of stupid whether it, they've got blood. Uh, is a big way to tell if somebody's a doll or not. I mean, true. Has been so far. Uh, the link between emotions and colours. Red is anger, blue is sadness, red, uh, yellow is joy, I suppose. It has anything to do with the answer. Eh, I don't think so, personally. Fingerprints. Sorry, eh, uh, no. I'm comparing guitars with, uh, service. Find them more clearly. Oh, is it a neat item? Actually, yeah. Oh. I just... Okay, note. Uh, no information? There was no information on it. Note. On uh, so. There we go. I had a feeling so was the answer, because his, his was just vague. Uh, is this what you saw so? Uh, that's it. We found this note exploring. Which means uh, something is uh, something that was displayed on the coffin control system. I see. Oh, I remember now. The uh, colors were laid out. Okay. Blue human, red doll. So this is a doll. And yellow vacant. This should not be any yellows. Oh, I see. Uh, since it was the coffin control system, because uh, there must be information about the contents of the coffin, surely. So, uh, where did this land? Red doll means when the dummies are in there. It also means the door's in there. Because everyone but Jin will be red. If we pick a red coffin, we can avoid hitting Jin. Is that really, uh, really it? Sarah, remember the coffin control system. Specifically the mes uh, me uh, message in the top right. That being... Data log. Yep. In this recorded one, uh, the contents of the comments we checked. Uh, yeah. It recorded it automatically. Uh... It was recorded from South Game. I'm guessing you know the uh, printout log. Game start. Yep. Oh wait, uh, that would uh, mean those seven. One had a human mixed in? A human among the dummies. What? Who, uh, who was it then? Uh, hard to believe. Uh, can we be calm about such things? Because that means there's a person who's been lying and pretending to be one of the dummies. My question is, since Kuromata's currently powered down, would he, would his coffin show as a doll? Or would it show as a uh, vac 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 vacant? Uh, what do they even do that for? Right, so we know Kurumata's a doll, we know Aranmaru's a doll, we know. Do we know anyone else's a doll? No, no one else has done anything doll like. We know Midori's a doll because Midori had him. Um, he's taken off his. Fist. Okay, uh, probably trust the dummies at this race. In that case, understood. Let's, let's make it clear here's the human. Unfortunately, two people who we want dead are confirmed dolls. One person who is dead, we want alive, is confirmed doll. The dummies and Midori, the group of uh, seven, uh, got one human in the mix. In terms of seeing human, I'm guessing. My guess might be my. Or run room. Nope. I replaced my whole hand, remember? Still trying to call me human? Hilarious. Being able to take off your hand doesn't necessarily make you a doll. It does make, mean you can't bleed, though. Getting a whole, uh, a pig in your stomach? Kuromata gotta be a doll, huh? Uh, do you think there's a case where someone uh, doesn't realize they're human? Possible. That is possible, Anzu. Yeah. Uh, we also want the uh, death of the victim videos. It's hard to imagine a uh, human mixing in. No, you all saw your own respective deaths, didn't you? Someone could just be lying about saying it. I'm 
unfortunately, uh, as that is, uh, it's possible that they wouldn't be royal, right? And I'm no exception. Maybe I could be human. Yeah. I mean, I'd be happy if you are. Yep. He die. It's true. We could, uh, we could be sure. We're pretty sure he's a doll. And who in the world could it be? Uh, Midori's hand came off too. But that could be uh, a prop to make it look like he was a doll. So you're thinking that Midori is human, maybe? Go. I can't say that for sure, yes. But I just, just remember this. Midori is uh, with the organization. He can freely use everything in this facility. If that's the case, why is he not overrunning this, overseeing this game? Cool. There is such a thing as impossible. Yep. I even heard steam. I think it's not human about me. Is that all? Right, and the thing you found on me. It has a stunning gun upgrade part. Ah, uh, so you used it, that on me. I didn't intend to have. Oh, that's a lie. Anyway, Kumaro? Kumaro? Kutaro? Uh. Is that what the, the coffin. It's Thursday, there's a human in the mix. Necessarily. Okay. <laughs> What's well, not necessarily a contradiction? I'm trying to say like you might. You're right. Um, okay. Maybe. <laughs> nope. Guess not. Um. I don't know. Kitaro and... Yeah, I, th I feel like it's Kitaro's one of them. It's not. Could it be the lantern? Right, hold on, right, so... Oh, I need it, I need it. Right. Sword deaths. Uh, doesn't realize it. Kumara. Midori. Upgrade. I still think. I, I don't see why this couldn't be a. Uh... Pictured, uh, everyone uh, pictured in those definitely dies. Unfortunately, that is. Uh... Oh, wait. Definitely dies. Uh... Yeah, no, I didn't say anything about the, the victim videos. Um, if you're human, yep, you die. It's true. Do I have to, do I have to change? No one else has a question. seem to be the one that I need to... Well, 
this is gonna be the last hit, I guess. Nope, I can save. Just so I can hop back right at the spot. That's the wrong one, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose that's literally the same thing twice. Because I need to... Right, hold on. Oops, clicking the wrong things. Ramaru versus Hinako is what I'm meant to do. Guess not. Anyway, I, I should probably just call it there, though. Thank you for stopping by, and hopefully I can see you in the next one. With that, goodbye.